Welcome morning, this is Dave from Down the Road We Go and this is another In the Shop video. It's going to be a little bit of a short one there today because all we're going to do is winterize the Windsport 34J. Uh, the temperature is getting down uh, to 30 or less so we want to get this done even though it's going to be in the shop here which is not heated but it stays warmer than the outside. We usually leave it uh, winterized until we get down to the first uh, RV park where it's going to be above 40 or 45 and then we'll dewinterize it and take the winter trip from there. So let's get started. We'll start with the outside. Okay, we've already drained, pulled the plug out, and cleaned the inside of the, the uh, water heater. We've got one of those uh, water jet hoses like that stick up in the hole and flush it around let it run out so we've done all that so we're ready to go all we got to do is put it in bypass and we're going to let this dry for a couple days and then we're going to go ahead and stick the plug back in there but we have to put this in bypass first another thing we've already done is we had opened up the low point drains which in this model because it has a door kitchen those are the drains right down in there if you can see them. They're open, everything's drained out, but what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to close them up so we can run the pump and make sure all the water is out of everything. So let's close those. Okay, you just close them up. You just close that one, that one. Now all the low point drains are closed so we can go upstairs and get inside and start winterizing. Okay this place is a little bit of a mess because as you can see we're starting we've already started to work on the office and we've tore it all out so but the first step in doing this let's turn the water pump on and now we'll open up all the faucets just to make sure Shower. Okay, they're on. And it's getting a little bit of seepage through there. A little bit of water still in the bottom tank. You, you have to turn these on to clean the pipes out. Okay, John, about the same. And yeah, nothing coming out of the, the faucets there, so we'll go ahead and close those. come back out and turn the pump off okay make sure all the things turned off and the next step will be getting down below here someplace and trying to find out where the bypass is for the water heater okay again guys this is a 2016 Thor Windsport 34J and we're trying to shut the bypass off for the water filter for the hot water heater we want to close that down so we can winterize uh, I could not I'm not exactly a big guy and I couldn't get my arm down in there I had to take the two screws out for I had to take the two screws out for this panel right here so in there on there and pull it away from there and now I can finally see down in there where the bypass is I don't know if you can bypass <laughs> way down in there so we're gonna have to reach in there and twist that screw this back in and then put the stuff you really had in here back in the in the cupboard so that's how this works because it's a uh, Kind of an entry level it doesn't have a water closet where you can turn everything on and off and suck everything up into the uh, the, the pink juice up into everybody's faucet so you have to do it from the water tank now this isn't the city water this is the water tank that's under the bed so what i've done already is put like about four and a half five gallons of the pink stuff uh, rv antifreeze it's got to be RV antifreeze you don't want to put poisonous stuff in there this is not poison you put it in the water tank now the easiest way I found I couldn't find any way to just kind of dump it in there so 
what we found was this gadget. It's brand new, and what it is is it's a little hand pump. So you stick this in the hole there, stick this down in the jug, hold the jug up a little bit, turn it on. If you can see it, it's pumping the juice in there, and you can watch it go down here. It's not real fast, but it'll get the job done. Once it's in there, then we can go ahead and winterize everything. There it is, it sucked that out of there, so we'll turn it off. Now, it will flow back and put a little bit back in here, and that's fine. So we got this, we can pour this in some of the drains. Pull that out of there. Cap back on it. Now we've got our water tank. It's got about five and a half, six gallons of the good RV antifreeze in it. So now we'll go in and and uh, put the uh, water heater on bypass and run through all the faucets make sure we got paint coming out and we'll be good to go um, then all we got to do is you know clean everything out when we get ready to use it so let's get at uh, getting it winterized now that we've got the uh, pink RV antifreeze in the tank now this would be the fresh water tank we're ready to uh, make sure we've got it going through the faucets now We've already done this, uh, but we're going to show you how you want to have the paint come out. But, you know, we've already primed the system and got it up there, so let's turn the pump on and see what happens. Pump's on, and of course you can tell it's been primed because it's not making any noise. So what you want to do is everything that's got a faucet on it, so here we are in the shower. So we're going to turn on the cold. There it goes. Turn on the warm. As long as it's pink like that, you're good. Here's the John. We get the pink. We turn it back on. We got a nice. You want a nice puddle of pink uh, fluid down there to keep that from freezing. Hot and cold on the sink. And now we got some down in the traps too. So. We're good there. One thing we got left is the sink in the kitchen. Cold, hot, and yeah, we got good pink going down there. And there's some down in. We'll put some over here down in the trap. Got it made. Now we're all winterized, and we don't have any. In, we did the bypass of the water heater, so we don't have to worry about that. So that ought to do it today, guys. Thanks for watching. That's how to winterize a 2016 Thor Windsport 34J. Used to be a bunkhouse, now an office. Uh, I guess we'll have to change the designation there or something. So, but anyway, we're done winterizing. We're ready uh, to just get everything else cleaned up, ready to go for the winter, and get out of here sometime at the end of uh, December. So, thanks for watching as down the road and winterizing we went. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. If you're new to our channel or you just want to make sure you see all our videos, make sure you click the little subscribe button on our logo and make sure also you ring the little bell and that way YouTube will notify you whenever we put up a new video. So thanks for coming along for the ride as Down the Road We Go.